Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Song T with 1,336 rating versus Susu15 with 1,308 rating, so this can be another high rated DB video, and we are going to see Song T win the Rafi versus Susu, and decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we got small world, multiplication, equation, small world, circular, then they have book of eclipse, birth, Fenrir, prosperity, and Fenrir, so they're gonna go mean phase, activate circular, dump sigma, special summon out. Uh, both players opened up like a fairly going first hand. Um, now depending on their list and their six card, like small world could have gone into like a kaiju or something that beats a rise heart. Uh, sigma bring itself out. Circular goes search, grab super factorial, and then overlay those. Make Albert, Albert effect, attach to go search. Then that's gonna grab diameter. And then normal summon diameter, diameter effect, bring out circular from the graveyard. After that, use circular, make disciple, then make devote, devote mandatory effect, then Albert, tribute off devote. Okay, so since they Albert tributed off specifically and not use disciple when they have a good hand to disciple with, I'm guessing it's because they play the underworld goddess. Then go into Lingaribo. Uh, turn those into a Cyber's Wicked, or because they want to end with a way to be evenly, like, uh, th that's not like this, okay, uh, Cyber's Wicked, Banish Devote, Go Search Diameter, and then Activate Small World, Go Multiplication, and the Salem and Great Mole into Bell, um, okay, was not expecting the multiplication of the Solomon Great Mullen to the bell technique there. That is a interesting one. I guess it's... Uh, I mean, bell's like mid into like a blank deck since like odds are your opponent's probably just playing cash. But I guess it could stop like called by on Super Factorial. Activate Pot of Prosperity, go banish six... Then look at the top six. So that's going to see Ash, Theosis, Preparations, Harpies, Feather Duster in the main deck. And then go ahead, put back. I mean, Harpies isn't that bad in the main deck. Uh, especially with like what cash tier players are like setting up right now. A decent amount of them are still playing like Lance, the book cards, um, Birth, Preparations. So if they set like 3 4 plus a Rise Heart pass and you activate Harpies, like you're going to get value out of that. It's not outing the Rise Heart, but it is outing a lot still. And then activate Harpies, which is just a, to force Super Factorial, which in reality, I guess, makes us that way they can book to then force the negate. It is crazy how much uh, value the trap is still going to get here, though. Then they're going to activate XYZ1, Wicked 2. Book of Eclipse 3, and then just chain to negate. Okay, then I was gonna say, did not mean to dump Sigma, they meant to search it. Then they get that rip from their hand. Let's see, of course, when they only have four cards in hand, you roll fives and sixes. Oh, it's birth? That's crazy. Special summon out Fenrir. And then on summon, activate IP, go into Unicorn. Then they can go Fenrir 1. Fenrir 1, target Wicked, Chainlink 2, Unicorn, to so spin back the Fenrir. Then special summon out Fenrir. Fenrir effect, go search. Then Fenrir, go grab Cash Tier, Rise Heart. Rise Heart to special summon itself out. And then Rise Heart, banish birth, make them banish 3 face down. Let's see, what do they hit? They hit Circular, Subtraction, and Ash. Alright, then after that, uh... They were thinking about overlaying. They could just go battle, yeah, battle phase. Beat over, beat over. And then they could make a Shangri La. Yeah, damage is halved. Uh, go into Shangri La. And then set Lance, pass, draw sign at mining. Standby phase, Shangri La, special out from the deck. And then that's going to bring out Fenrir. And then go main phase, Sigma, summon itself out. Uh, nothing there. Normal summon diameter. Diameter effect. Bring out diameter from the graveyard. And then Fenrir effect. To banish the sigma face down. Shangri La. Pass over a zone. Um, also, this should be banished uh, face up here. 
because it's actually leaving because of like itself right it's kind of like uh like Fenrir evenly versus like a flounderies bird and then overlay going to albert albert effect detach go search and then they're gonna search out addition um, activate addition on the albert special make it gang a thousand then activate equation bring out diameter and this doesn't negate underneath of it then summon splash mage splash mage effect summon out addition then use those go in the transcode transcode effect summon back out ip and then use those to make access code effect gain 3000 attack and then effect to pop okay wait so they're gonna pop shangri-la three times in fenrir ones okay um so then all they have left is their set. And they, they didn't use circular. So they're going to go damage. And if you read diameter, it does not negate activation. It just negates effect. So they can activate forbidden lance there in the damage step. And then, yep, attack, attack. So that's going to drop them down to 500 life points now. But they are on almost nothing. And they're going to go small world. Bell, Valor, Ash. It's kind of crazy how, like, little value the Small World got this game. Just because, like, they had the Small World and the Bell. And now they're going to Small World away the Bell into Ash. So, grab Ash Blossom. But that should do pretty well against the opponent's top deck here. And they draw Terraforming. Exactly. So, they admit the feat. Moving on to game number two now. We're going to get to see Catch Tira go first. Opening hands. We have Circular, Subtraction, Imperm, L-Storm, Subtraction. They have Nib, Shifter, Prosperity, Rise Heart, Theosis. Ah, yes, Shifter. So, activate Pot of Prosperity, go Banish for Cost, any response, no, change Shifter. Then they're going to be able to uh, shut off Circular, shut off pretty much their whole deck. Um, the Fossil Machine, that's for like back row stuff. Then look at the top six cards. Uh, grab back the Pressured Planet. Then go ahead and put back the other cards. Exactly there. You want to grab Pressured Planet over Terraforming. You want better top decks in your deck. Activate Pressured Planet. Pressured Planet. Go search. We also saw Desires in their deck, which is becoming more and more popular just because you don't want to brick. And Cash kind of has a problem with that. Desires is also just broken. It literally, it's just Pot of Greed. Summon Unicorn. Chain Imperm on it. Haha. -ha, already got the Theosis. Bring out Fenrir. And then... They're going to activate the Fenrir effect now. Go search, grab Cash Tira Rise Heart, and then summon out Cash Tira Rise Heart. Then they can go Rise Heart effect, go banish the Big Bang, make them banish three face down. And then the reason why they're banishing Big Bang is that way they can attach it with the Rise Heart and try to, you know, get an extra monster. Uh, they draw Sigma, pass, draw Scarecrow Cash Tira, and then activate Rise Heart to special. And then effect to go banish. Um, depending on what they want to do here, they could just banish birth. They're thinking, okay, yeah, banish birth, make them banish three face down, a rise heart effect to attach. They're gonna attach Big Bang, and then effect banish the planet face down, then a rise heart, Big Bang. So yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's just gonna be game. And then moving on to game number three. We're going to get to see Mathmech go first. Hopefully the opponent doesn't have Shifter again. We got Diameter, Parallel, Sun and Mining, Book of Eclipse, Parallel. They have Pressured Planet, Desires. Pressured Planet, Bell, and Birth. Bell is also becoming more popular, which is really good against this deck. Then Sun and Mining, Discard Parallel. Go search Circular. And then Activate Circular. Go Dump Sigma, Special Out. Then Sigma Effect, bring itself out. Circular effect go search. You just hold bell for the super factorial. Most people aren't setting up like Appaloosa or anything, especially right now with Cash being able just to easily summon a big body. Uh, make Disciple, Parallel, bring out Parallel. Then Link Off, go into Devote, Devote effect, Disciple, Tribute, draw Imperm, then put back Imperm. Uh, Devote, bring out Token. Okay, they don't want to put back diameter just because um of nib i'm guessing because otherwise you could put back diameter 
and then just search it right here off the Cybers Wicked. Go into Lingaribo, Cybers Wicked, Banish, go search Diameter, then Normal Summon Diameter, Effect, bring out Circular, okay. Then they're gonna overlay, oh, okay, they're gonna overlay all those for Albert. Albert, go search a Floodgate. They grab Anti-Spell, oh my gosh, and the opponent opened up four spells. Albert, Tribute, Lingaribo, bring out Sigma, and then go into IP. Then set three pass draws, a lightning storm. Ha, ah, nice. Activate anti spell. Then they're going to set four and face to perfectorial chain bell. And then draw imperm. Go main phase, normal summon diameter. Then diameter effect, bring out circular. They could have also summoned this like right here or something, so they can summon underneath this and then get the effect to search. But I guess, I was going to say, I guess they could summon something underneath that some other time. Uh, Albert, go search circular, and then circular effect, go dump, and yeah, they're going to dump multiplication, the opponent's submitting defeat there, wow, okay, so we're going to see Math Mech win, um, I mean, yeah, five spells plus bell just isn't going to do a whole lot, like, when you get hit with anti-spell, like, the bell does shut down the most important part of their deck, which is the super factorial, but when they, like, hard search a floodgate like that, and it just counters five cards in your hand... I mean, it doesn't matter if you shut down the trap, if you're still just going to get access code brrrr into game. And seeing how long that match was, oh, the match was about 26 minutes long. It was actually uh, a pretty quick match. And with all of that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.